What's up guys? Today we're back with another video. Today we are Repo Man on the Mills County map. While we put some heat in the engine this morning, it's only 29 degrees. I'm out here shooting hoops. I've been practicing my dunk skills, trying to get better. But let's hop in the truck. Let's get over to the shop and start the day. I'm excited to be back here with the Repo series. It's been a number of weeks since the previous episode and many of you guys have been requesting it. And what better than to come back here. We do have a brand new record. It's a one ton record that we'll be using for today's Repos. And we just got a pretty big list of Repos from the bank. It looks like many people just aren't paying their bills. It looks to be four or five different things. We do have a few trucks, a few different kind of off-road vehicles, even a few trailers. We're just going to have to see uh, what we could find here today. But it is is a lot of work trying to find these vehicles it's sometimes impossible but other times we do get pretty lucky now there is a full mods list up on my website if you guys would like to go check it out it is linked down below and uh, if you guys haven't already please hit the like button it really does help out with the YouTube algorithms but uh, we're just about to arrive here at the shop in the 2016 Silverado one of my favorite silver autos in the game this truck just looks amazing I really do like it the crew cab Six and a half foot bed it really does look pretty sweet here, but let's head into the office Let's take a look at what we do have here, but look at that guys. This is our new repo truck It's a 2010 GMC 3500. It's a one-ton wrecker. Uh, this thing looks pretty sweet here So we'll actually set up the camera and tripod really quickly I do want to go over all the functions here on it and let's go to the office computer here We don't really have much of an office, but it's good enough and it gets the job done All right, let's get the door opened up because we got to head on out here. So the first repo is a 2016 Ford F-150. And funny thing, guys, the owner just went to the bank and the bank said, come on, get it and bring it back to your lot here. Really quickly, we'll take one last look at the GMC. This is one pretty sweet truck, probably one of the best trucks I've seen in farms and for detail. This thing just looks pretty neat here. So let's head on out. Uh, we do have a small shop, small company, but we're kind of a one man show, but we do uh, uh, make a pretty good uh, money here doing it as well. So it's a 2016, I believe it's dark gray in color. It's a regular cab, long bed, two wheel drive, which means that we are gonna have to tow it from the back. We might have to kind of uh, grab it from the front, move it, and then uh, kind of get it from the back wheels. That way we don't damage that transmission because at the end of the day, the bank still wants to sell it and make some money. Now, if you guys do want to see more repo videos, please let me know. Your feedback's much appreciated. It really does help out the channel, and I like making videos that you guys want to see here. So we're coming up here on the bank, and oh, I see it over there, guys. I see it. Let's get the strobe lights on. We got to get it blocked, and we got to make sure it's the right VIN, and we got to do it pretty quickly because he is going to be running out here at us. Oh, look at that, guys. There looks to be a pretty big pallet here. Let's see what it is. Looks to be some sort of boxes, but let's see. That is it. Here. We'll take a few pictures. Uh, the last of four of the VIN are it, which is definitely a good thing. It's a really hard uh, to find vehicles like this. So let's get this all set up and get it all strapped down. We're in a pretty tight area here. There's really not too much room for error, and we should be able to kind of get this here. Now, let's see. We do need that kind of bottom piece there to kind of go right around there as we do kind of touch one wheel. It should adjust. Looks like it's slowly doing it here. This might be a little tricky. First time, I am a bit rusty. Probably should have practiced here, but we don't have too much more time. We really got to get this on our first try. All right, so there we have it, guys. Let's get those folded out there. We should be good to go. And we'll get it lifted on up there. Perfect. We'll get it strapped down. Looks like we're all good. Oh, yeah, that is perfect here. Sometimes it is a bit tricky with some different vehicles, but there we have it. We'll put a uh, strap on that side there. Perfect. And we're good to go. Right, we should be able to just kind of roll on out here. Looks like uh, he did not come out here. That's pretty interesting. Usually they come running out, but we're doing a pretty good job here so far. 
This GMC is a pretty nice truck here. We don't have too many GMCs of this generation in Farm Sim. And it's always nice to get some newer, uh, kind of uh, mid-2000 trucks just like this one here. And you guys can see, there we have it, guys. We have it on the back. Now, this is a one-ton a wrecker. I think it's a pretty good size here just for what we need for rebuilding cars, trucks, and... Uh, if we do need anything bigger, I do have a few buddies that have bigger trucks that we could always lend a hand here. Oh, wow, looks like he left the wipers on. Not sure if it's raining. Uh, maybe it was this morning, but that's pretty funny that he left them on. Went inside, but guys, we got this here. That is pretty epic. Now, this is actually a package deal. Uh, the company went bankrupt, and we are looking for this owner's, uh, I believe it's a GMC. It's a 2009, so we have to go look at that. And he also has a skid steer that we have to... To look for as well so hopefully we could get all of it otherwise he is gonna put it in hiding and we won't be able to find it again here but wow that worked pretty good here first time using it we were a little bit rusty took a few extra minutes but we, we did a pretty good job now here at the shop we do not have a fence around the property that just costs a little bit too much money uh, so we just have uh, good security cameras here and we'll definitely put like a wheel lock on there but there we have it let's go see if we could find the uh, second truck it was last seen at the repair shop he had it in for repairs hopefully it's over there and we could just kind of hook it book it get back here and get the skids here as well hopefully we could get all three here today Let's get the truck blocked in really quickly. Let's check the VIN. That seems to be it. Let's get a few extra pictures here. This is a pretty neat camera perspective, and we definitely want to do more of it here. Now, this does seem to be a dually. Wow, this is a huge truck, and this is definitely going to be pushing the limits. But let's get in, and let's get it all hooked up, and this should be a pretty a simple hook and book. There we have it guys, we were able to get this truck. Now right off the bat, the steering is a bit light. Just look at that really uh, heavy here on the back end. That is a pretty big dually, looks to be a 3500. Right, we're back here at the shop. Now we do have to go see if we could find that skid steer. We'll have to look at the details here on the iPad, but I will have to say guys, we pretty much maxed out what this truck could do here. Uh, probably a little bit further than what I would like to, uh, since that is a really heavy truck on the back end of this. Probably needed probably maybe a two or three ton tow truck here but we have to make do with what we have and you guys can see that we got it here which is awesome so the more trucks we get the more repos we get the more money we'll be taking home at the end of today here let's get that lower down and let's get it unfolded there we have it. We'll pull forward very quickly. Now, with this truck, it's meant to just be kind of a hook and book. You don't really have to get out and really strap it down, but DOT requires it. Uh, but that is a really handy thing. Let's get those LEDs off there. That's really bright. Definitely want to try to do a rebuild video at night. And I also want to do a few, maybe with some other farm sim YouTubers. That would be a ton of fun. And just uh, kind of do a lot more multiplayer videos. We're coming up here on the property. It is this one over here. Let's get the hazard lights on. We'll take a quick walk through I really don't see anything he owns that house that house and I believe this shop let's run along the side of the woods here I don't really see any security cameras which is a good thing let's keep running let's keep running and oh wow look at that guys it's an empty shop and what we were looking for was a Bobcat 863 I don't see it I don't see any tire tracks of a Bobcat so it looks like we are just gonna have to move on to the next one sometimes you're able to find it sometimes you aren't and it looks like today uh, we just kind of got to keep moving and next up I think is ATV. 
Just looked at the details of the next one. It's a combo package of a utility trailer, single axle, and a ATV. It's a Lizard ATV. Now they are four months behind on payments, and it was a eight thousand dollar ATV here. Now usually uh, when we do repo, with the vehicles go off to auction if the owner doesn't pay here. So that's what's gonna happen. And maybe we might buy one of these back here. I think that would be a pretty fun thing. Uh, maybe we could use it uh, to do some just driving around, having some fun in the yard. But guys. Guys, this truck looks awesome. I really, really do like it. Big shout out goes out to all the modders in Farm Sim for their hard work of making pretty epic mods for the community. And what do we have here, guys? This is the address. That is the ATV. Yeah, that's the ATV. Let's get the strobe lights on. Let's get it blocked in. But guys, we cannot take it unless the trailer is here. That's what the bank says. We have to kind of follow. I do see some tire tracks here. So let's see. Let's see. Let's follow them around. Looks like they just keep going. And oh, there it is, guys. That's the trailer. Let's check the VIN. Yes, that's the trailer. Perfect. Let's check the tires. They seem to be pretty good. Awesome. Let's check the uh, quad really quickly. And yes, guys, that's it. All right, let's get the truck around here. Let's get attached to the trailer. Yes, we are going on the lawn, but uh, that is allowed here by the bank's contract. We should be able to attach, no problem. Wow, that was a pretty simple thing here. We do have a hitch adapter, and that does work out really good here. Now, I think that we could have also just put the ATV on there. Not sure how that would work, but I have seen it many times. That is possible. Let's see, perfect right there. Seems to be good. Sometimes loading and unloading is always tricky here, but let's get the ATV. Wow, this is a very nice one. Uh, it's a pretty new brand. Uh, but wow, look at that, guys. When you don't pay the bills, the repo man's gonna come take it just like we're doing today. Alright, let's put a few straps on that so that it doesn't move around as we're heading back to the shop. But guys, that is pretty much it here. That's all we do have for the repos. I mean, that was a lot of repo and we did here. We were not able to find that Bobcat skid steer. Maybe another time, maybe in the next video we'll be able to find it. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's repo video. Go check out the full mods list up on my website, which is linked down below but thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more